Good afternoon, everybody. It's Stephen Paul from Winnextra for your daily brief of October the 22nd. Makes it number 33 in the list. And it's the weekend's coming. The weekend is coming. The weekend is here, Hudson, and you again are starting the recordings without giving me any warning. Very nice. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to capture a talented person on natural doing the best he can. You do not want to see me on natural. No, much. no, no, we don't. Um, no. Uh, goodbye to that thought, and while we're saying goodbye to that rather nasty thought, let's also say goodbye to uh, Windows XP, because today is the very, very last day, and thank God. No, let's not thank God. We're not going to indulge in that on this show, but, you know... Goodness. Thank um, thank common sense <laughs> that uh, this ancient operating system, as of and from today, is no longer available as a pre-installed operating system. Then it's not stop idiots going out and buying it and install it, installing it themselves. Or but, downloading uh, it. Yes, you should not be able to purchase it uh, as of and from today. Now, of course, that doesn't mean we're not going to get rid of it because, you know, cheapskates everywhere are still going to... You know, still gonna be stuck in some businesses, governments, and markets, and whatnot. But essentially, the large days of Windows XP are now dead and dead buried. buried. So, you know, bye bye Windows XP. Bye. Long live Windows Seven. We will miss you. Not. Oh, just a little side note. I, I just want to brag a little bit. Oh. You might. Oh, shut up. I get to brag. Some of you might notice, I'm um, hopefully notice, that the picture quality on one side of this show has taken a jump upwards. I'm, I, I bit and it's not it. this side. No, 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 no. I'm I'm giving the uh, Microsoft Live Cam Cinema a trial run here, and I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this little sucker so far. Where's mine? Next week. It's in the it's, <laughs> it, it, it's in the mail. You're full of shite. It's in the mail. <laughs> and you know what? This this camera that Stevens using, he actually he actually opened up his wallet and paid for it out of his own his own hard stolen cash. Well, really, anything we do on this show is coming out of our pockets. You know, we we're, we're not being sponsored by anybody. Not that we wouldn't like to be. You know, so if you're interested, give us a call. Um, you know what you can do? What you you know what people do for like um, some of the shows out there? What? Where? Uh, well, I've heard that. Um, uh, what's his name? Curry and uh, Dvorak show. They actually get like up to three hundred and ninety nine dollars sent a time to them from listeners. I, I wonder. I wonder who they're blowing in order to get that. Well, to it's because by sending in that that amount of money, you get to be in the credits an executive producer. Well, damn, we can do that too. Yeah, we could do that too. You know, all we need, all we need then, is two sponsors, yeah. right? Just two. Yeah. And I could get myself a HP slate. Wait a minute. You just got a, you just got a webcam, so you'd have to wait for sponsor number three. Um, no. But we'll see. I, to be honest, I'd rather you get the Windows Phone Seven before the slate. But this one from HP. The HP 500, it was just unveiled today. The price is a little stiff. Yeah, the price is 799 Now, this is the HP Slate 500, so it is back. This is a return, yeah. but, of course, it's a, it's, it's a much, much updated model. Oddly enough, it's not WebOS. It's HP releasing yeah. Windows 7 uh, professional tablets. But this is a beauty if you can ignore the $799 Price tag. It's got a nine. It's nine point two uh, inches. It's an eight point nine inch screen. Um, capacitive touch uses both uh, a pen or a stylus for you know that really mm -hmm. intricate work or for you doing your writing or whatnot. Because this is aimed at business, but it also is fully multi-touch capable. Um, it comes with an Atom Z five forty one point eight six gigahertz processor and two gigs of RAM, which makes it. On par with an Apple Air. I think it um, makes it stronger. You know, it makes it more powerful, doesn't the it? Pro the processor is more powerful, yeah. but it's got just as much memory. 64 gigs of internal SSD. Again, 
you know, this is the MacBook Air, the 11 inch that we saw released, you know, the netbook that Steve Jobs won't admit is a netbook. Um, Intel graphics media accelerator, so the, the graphics power isn't quite as, isn't quite as high, but it does have a 3 megapixel pixel camera, VGA camera for using your Skype with and the whole lot, 802.11 BGNN, Bluetooth, USB, SD card slots, and a 30 hour, uh, 30 watt hour battery. Which so, gives it five plus hours of battery life, which basically means again it's on par with the netbook, and you know it's that couple of hundred dollars, lots of hundreds of dollars cheaper, and yeah. I want it now. Give it to me. I'm still holding out for a more reasonable user interface for a tablet than Windows Seven. Look, Sorry. you actually, I'm, this is a bone I have to pick. <laughs> you. you misquoted me last night on Brand Dead Tech Cast. You were saying that I want Windows 7 interface on tablets, you liar. <laughs> because you made it sound as if I want them on all tablets. I don't. I told you that interface is only good once you go above the 7 inch range. You need to be in the 8, 9, 10 inch tablet and above. Below <laughs> that, it's something else. So stop misrepresenting me, you git. <laughs> Sean, if you're watching this, you know, I am waiting for a correction on uh, Monday's Brain Dead Tech Cast. Thank you very much. Yeah. Consider, okay. consider this my, my voicemail for Brain Dead Tech. Yeah. Um, something else Microsoft has done is that their, the games for Window is moving to a, an additional browser based interface. Yeah, I like this idea. It's basically, it's, for those of you who don't know, Microsoft Windows have their own version of basically a Steam client for yeah. the games for Windows product. But, you know, not all these games do you want to install that large client for. Because, you know, some of these games are very, very small. So now, or well, very soon, you'll be able to do it through your browser. That yeah. means using your Microsoft points, downloading the games, and all that. Now, what's more of more interest to me is not the fact that they're moving away so that you have both the client for the very large games, plus you have the smaller browser-based experience, is that we're starting to see a move away from Xbox points, Microsoft yeah. points. Yeah. Because I have a problem with them in the sense that um, as Zoom and Xbox Live moves into more and more markets around the world, this sort of equation between money and points is useless. And I yeah. like to see them bring in more and more um, so that you can just start using your credit card, or as you can with Xbox Live, use PayPal, and I'd yeah. like to see that integration come further and further in, and that seems to be happening, because what they said before was the reason they were sticking to points was because there was a problem equating points to currency, but technically that's not really no. a huge problem, and no. seemed to have overcome that, so as of right now, with Windows Phone 7, you're not using points, still have it on Xbox Live and Zoom PC, but we may be seeing the, the move away from that. Finally, yeah, yeah, because I I know myself. I I've wanted to to go to the Microsoft Store. I wanted to, or to go to Zoom Pass now that I can, and possibly buy something. But the only as as I said pre-show, the only thing, only place where you can actually use your PayPal is an Xbox Live, and it, it, it just strikes me as just totally whacked that, that you can't you know I can't go to the Windows Store. And click on you know Windows 7 downloadable, pay for it there, or Microsoft Office, you know, student whatever, and pay for it there using PayPal. It just it it boggles my mind. Well, you see, it's not just it. Microsoft when it comes to PayPal, but as we've discussed before, PayPal has lots and lots of different agreements, and it operates differently in very very different countries. As I've talked about my experiences with yeah. PayPal from Denmark, Ireland, and yeah. here. Now the problem with points. Is that right now 100 points is 1.25 dollars? But if Microsoft is going to move away from points, they have to keep something in place because they currently have a huge market in their points, which is based when you go into Walmart or any other store and you pick up the cards, yeah. you scratch off the back and you get your points, and that yeah. that uh, that acts as a gift system uh, because you can gift points within micro within yeah. Live as well. So they need to sort of keep it to some degree, but come up with another way to do it. Um, because also this idea of spending points is a lot easier than sp than the notion of spending money psychologically. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. 
Now, one thing that I did want to get onto today, it's not strictly Microsoft related, folks. It, what but it is, what, what, what do you mean strictly? There's not a single thing about this next story that is Microsoft related. Well, there is if you consider that we've already talked about the fact that Nokia may be releasing <laughs> smartphones based on you know, the Face it, part. Paul. Be 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 honest. You only wanted to put this in here because you think it's really cool. It's bloody awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a cell phone that charges while it's stuck in your arse pocket? Who wouldn't? Don't tell me you wouldn't. Right, folks. Basically, the ECU with the E standing for you know environmentally friendly, and the CU being the chemicals and being for copper. Is a Nokia concept phone, which um, as of oh, yes is not been concept. Yes. Yeah, we'll never see it. We will see it, just like a long time ago, the idea of kinetic watches that don't require batteries to charge off the movement of your arm was a concept idea. Well, these phones basically have a little thermal generator inside them, and the backs of them are made of copper. So if it's around any heat source, like your body, your hand, or if you happen to put it down on a, on a warm surface, that will start the thermal generator moving, which, of course, generates power and charges your phone. And that's a really, really cool idea because it eliminates, you know, the need for chargers and other BS like that. I, I agree that the idea is right, but that phone is ugly as sin. The phone is ugly as sin, but it's a concept, Stephen. And I'd love to see the first um, arse heat charged Windows Phone 7. Like, the, the casing for this looks like it needs a bad case of, you know, like skin cream. Even it's a concept. When was the last time you ever saw a concept idea actually come out and be the same as what was finally released? This is about the technology, not how it looks right now. <laughs> Dear God, uh, if everything was about how it looked, <laughs> nobody would watch the show with the two of us on it. <laughs> and, on, and on that note, folks... This this calls the the Friday edition of the daily brief to a close. Uh, do check in tomorrow for the the weekend podcast. Um, we're lo going to be looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to you listening. Uh, but on that note, I think Paul, we we can say goodbye for today. We can pretty much say goodbye, except, of course, we need to remind you guys that we want your feedback. Yep. Right now, you're probably seeing a little blue box up above me that tells you, you know, subscribe, because we want you to subscribe here on YouTube. We also want you to leave us comments down below. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, drop along to youtube.com slash winextra and hit the subscribe button so you'll get all the updates in your channel every time you log in. And also, feel free, if you don't want to comment down below, drop us an email at podcast at winextras.com or... Drop us a voicemail at 251-272-9633, and we'll either play it on this show or we'll play it on the weekend podcast. So, thanks for watching, folks. Have a good weekend, everybody.